hello everyone uh, in this video we'll see five mcq questions on signal sense systems uh, and these questions are related to the topic classification of signals uh, i'll just put only five questions because uh, i'll explain in detail all these five questions uh, even i'll be explaining the options also so without any delay we'll start and one more thing if you are in a hurry and you don't have time to uh, look at the basics then this video is not for you this video is for those who want to know from the basics because basically what happens now if you know the basics and if you understand the questions then you can actually attend not just five many questions related to these variations okay the first question is which of the following signal is not a non periodic signal as you know if you have two negative converted to positive right so which of the following signal is not a non periodic signal instead of reading reading like this we'll read, read like which of the following signal is a periodic signal okay so i'll check which of these four is periodic signal fine so what is the definition of a signal to be periodic uh, a signal repeat itself after a particular time interval no so for example if if you take this sine wave this pattern is repeating this pattern is repeating and here it is repeating correct no if you take cosine wave also so it is repeating here repeating here and repeating here right so what is the definition if a signal repeat itself after a particular time interval then the signal is periodic so uh, there is a condition for periodic signal x of t uh, is equal to x of t plus t and for this particular question we don't we are not using this uh, condition when we come up with uh, that particular question then we'll explain this condition what is this condition but for this particular question you don't have to actually check for this condition we just have to see the pattern okay so i just have to check whether the signal is periodic or not periodic and in this particular case i have to tick the option which is actually periodic signal okay now what is this signal so rect name itself says it's a rectangular pulse rect of t by t now right and this is graphically this is how it is defined uh, this is independent variable t this is x of t okay it's as name says it is a rectangular pulse fine so at negative side of t it start from minus t not by 2 at positive side of c it ends at t not by 2 just make sure that the width total width is t not fine now since there is no uh, amplitude here it is just one so i have one here if i have capital a here it will be capital a so don't worry uh, periodicity does not depends upon the amplitude uh, whatever may be the amplitude uh, but uh, what we are checking is for periodicity whether this is repeating after a particular time interval no right it is just start from minus t not by 2 and ends at t not by 2 so since this is not repeating so this is option 1 is wrong so this is not a periodic signal okay now we'll go with this option 2 option 2 is e power minus a magnitude t or mod t so graphically this is how it is defined so this is independent variable t at negative side of t it is exponentially increasing at positive side of t it is exponentially decreasing this is how the sequence uh, looks like graphically and since it is exponentially decreasing at positive side of t it is e power minus a t and since this is exponentially increasing at negative side of t the equation is e power at mathematically mathematically uh, it is defined by x of t is equal to e power minus at for t greater than 0 and e power at for t less than 0 because t less than 0 it is exponentially increasing so that is therefore positive at and this is negative at okay now whether this sequence is repeating after a particular time interval no right so therefore this is also non periodic signal okay so question 2 option b is also not correct now we'll go with the option c option c is x of n is 1 by 2 over n u of n okay now uh, you might be knowing uh, in discrete time exponential sequence is defined by a power n u of n this is how the exponential sequence is defined in discrete time okay and whether it is exponentially increasing or exponentially decreasing it depends upon the value of a here okay now if a is if a is greater than 1 then it is exponentially increasing if a is in between 0 and 1 then it is exponentially 
decreasing okay now uh, what is the value of a here a is 1 by 2 power n u of n so a is 1 by 2 power n u of n so at n equal to 0 1 by 2 power 0 is 1 at n equal to 1 1 by 2 power 1 is 1 by 2 at n equal to 2 it is 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 16 so it goes on this is actually exponentially decreasing sequence whether this sequence is repeating after a particular time interval no right so this is also non periodic sequence option c is also wrong now since option a option b option c are wrong so answer should be actually option d but we'll see how that is periodic sequence okay now what is option d x of n is j power n plus j power minus n now j can be written in terms of exponential as e power j pi by 2 right how is that uh, uh, how did i write this this is e power j pi by 2 can be written as cos pi by 2 plus j sin pi by 2 right now what is the value of cos pi by 2 it is 0 plus j into what is the value of sin pi by 2 it is 1 so 0 plus j which is equal to j so instead of writing j i will write it as e power j pi by 2 let me just clean this so i can write x of n as e power j pi by 2 whole power n plus e power minus j pi by 2 whole power minus n and this is equal to e power j pi by 2 n plus e power sorry this is plus now so e power if this minus n comes down then we get e power minus j pi by 2 okay now this can be written as 2 into cos pi by 2 right how because e power j theta plus e power minus j theta by 2 is equal to cos theta so i'll take this 2 to the other side so i get 2 cos pi by 2 now what is cos as i told you before this is the cos signal cosine signal right and it is repeating after this time interval okay this is fundamental period t so whatever it is so it's a repeating after a particular time interval now Right. so therefore this option d is correct so it's option d is actually periodic signal okay uh, we'll take up the second question second question says uh, is asking uh, i need to find fundamental period of the signal cos square 2 pi t okay and the option a is 0.5 second 1 second 2 second 1.5 second take up a note here and what is that note if you have either cause if you have cause of some value some coefficient of t plus or minus some value phi okay similarly if you have sine of some coefficient into t plus or minus some constant phi okay uh, if this is the signal for this signal if 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 any constant is added and for also this kind of signal any constant is added so nothing to do with the fundamental period capital t okay whatever the number is this whatever the number is this whatever the number is this whatever is the number is this our t does not change okay don't worry what do you have number here don't worry what do you have numbers here the g t doesn't change it is not dependent upon these constant and it is not dependent upon the phase now we have to check for the condition for periodicity that we I, as i told you in the first uh, question uh, the signal for uh, condition for periodicity is what x of t is equal to x of t plus t okay this can be minus also okay now in signal processing x of t plus t means x of t signal shifted left capital t times if this is minus if this is minus x of t shifted x of t signal shifted left capital t times okay this can be plus or this can be minus when I shift it right or left, capital T times, I should get back my original signal X of T. Okay, that's what the condition says. Uh, let me try to convince you with a figure. Say this is my sinusoidal signal. And say this is T. From here to here, it is T. And from here to here, it is T. And this continues. Okay. Fine. So if I shift it right capital T times in the sense 
if i shift uh, and this continues in the other side also okay this is not a good uh, signal but still i'm trying to convince you now if i shift it right t times this pattern repeats if i shift it left t times pattern repeats if i shift it right 2t times also the pattern repeats if i shift it right 3t times also the pattern repeats okay so basically if you shift it right or left any integer multiple of time say it is k also th this condition also can be holds good okay so if i shift it right or left integer multiple of t times the pattern has to overlap in the sense it has to repeat okay so if this condition satisfies then the then we call it as signal is periodic but the question is what is the fundamental period capital t now fundamental capital t fundamental period capital t is defined by smallest value of time smallest value of time value of time for which for which signal repeats itself for which signal signal repeats itself repeats itself is called fundamental period t now if i uh, if i take this one period and shift it right it overlaps if i take from here to here and if i shift it right t times then also it overlaps i will take from here to here and if i shift it right then also it overlaps but what is the smallest value of time for which the signal repeats the smallest value of time is only capital t okay correct no uh, this from here to here it's repeating from here to here also it is repeating from here to here also it's repeating but what is the smallest value of time it is only from here to here therefore the smallest value of time for which the signal repeat itself is called as fundamental period now in this question how to find the fundamental period of this sequence let me start with the fundamentals first so if the sequence is something like this x of t is equal to cos 2 pi f t plus or minus pi okay if the given sequence is something like this periodic fundamental period has nothing to do with the phase fundamental period is has to do with only the frequency and time okay so this is of the form cos of omega t plus or minus right now what i'll do uh, i mean what is omega omega is equal to 2 pi f and f i can write f as 1 by capital t so i can write omega as 2 pi into 1 by t so this omega which is 2 pi by t i'm going to equate it with the given signals coefficient of t which is 2 pi f okay so omega omega what i mean omega is what 2 pi by t i'm going to equate the given signals coefficient given signals omega which is 2 pi f so ignore the t only write the coefficient of t which is 2 pi f okay so equate omega which is 2 pi by t to 2 pi f let me give you one example so i have cos of 3t okay now what you will do omega i have to equate coefficient of t which is 3 to omega and what is omega 2 pi by t right now i need to find capital t and this capital t is a fundamental period period okay this is what i need to find so what you do you solve for t what is t t is equal to 2 pi by given the signal whether it is cos or sine what you do the coefficient of t you equate it by 2 pi by t which is nothing but omega what do i have here x of t is equal to cos square of 2 pi if it is just cos of 2 pi t i could have directly equated 2 pi by capital t is equal to 2 pi because i have to equate the coefficient of t with omega and omega is 2 pi by t right now it is not just cos 2 pi t it is cos square of 2 pi t okay now i have to bring it to a standard form what is the standard form cos omega t plus or minus pi i have to bring it to this standard form now we shall bring it to that standard form what is cos square theta what is cos square theta it is 1 minus plus cos 2 theta by 2 right so i can convert this cos square of 2 pi t into something like this so we'll do that so what do we have cos square of 2 pi t i can write it as 1 plus cos 2 into 2 pi t divided by 2 and this is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 times cos of 4 pi t 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into cos 4 pi t right now what is the coefficient of t 4 pi right so i'll have to equate it by 2 pi by capital t is equal to 4 pi now solve for t 
t is equal to 2 pi by 4 pi 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 cancels out this is equal to 1 by 2 second okay so answer is 0 point answer is 0 point 5 second this is the fundamental period of the signal we'll see, we'll see the third question third question says that when periodic signal is multiplied with n non periodic signal with a non periodic signal the resultant signal will be whether it is periodic whether it is non periodic whether it is it cannot be determined or whether it is semi periodic okay there is no concept called as semi periodic signal so this is not there uh, we'll see uh, with respect to these three options which is correct okay so we have a condition whenever a periodic signal periodic signal is there and if you are multiplying this periodic signal with a non periodic signal non periodic signal then the signal will be non periodic non periodic okay whenever a periodic signal is multiplied with a non periodic signal the resultant signal will be non periodic so therefore the correct option is option now we look at the fourth question the fourth question says that the result of sum of two periodic signals is whether it is periodic whether it is non periodic whether it is may or may not be periodic and whether it is cannot be determined so in this case the correct option is if you have two periodic signal x of t is equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t we'll talk about only two signals because he has asked the sum of two periodic signals right so say the first signal is periodic with fundamental period t1 and let us say second signal is also periodic with fundamental period t2 now the question is if this is periodic with fundamental period t1 and if this signal is periodic with fundamental period t2 whether the sum of these two which is x of t whether this is periodic or not whether this signal is periodic or not uh, this depends depends actually uh, depends on what it may or may not be periodic depends upon the ratio of t1 and t if the ratio of t1 and t2 is rational then the signal is periodic if it is not rational then the signal is non periodic when i say rational the t1 by t2 these two this numerator uh, when i take the ratio the numerator should be an integer and denominator also should be integer then we call it as the signal is periodic otherwise the signal is non periodic let me give an example say i i know the value of t1 and i know the value of t2 if i took the ratio t1 by t2 and i got the answer as 5 by 7 then the signal is periodic okay why because numerator is also uh, integer and denominator also integer okay and in some cases if i take t1 and t2 t1 i got it as pi and t2 i got it as integer uh, let's let's say phi then the signal is non period why because it is not a rational because numerator is not integer it is a fraction 3.142 something right or sometimes we get t1 we add the ratio t1 and t2 the ratio t1 may be square root of 7 and t2 may be 3 in that case also square root of 7 is not an integer it is non period summary i can say the sum of two periodic signals is may or may not be periodic depending upon the ratio t1 by t2 if the ratio t1 by t2 is rational then the signal is periodic otherwise it is non periodic so the right option is option c connected to question number 4 uh, question number 5 is the fundamental period of the signal x of t is 3 cos 4t and 2 2 sin 2 pi t whether this signal is periodic or not okay and the option is given is 1 second pi second pi by 2 second and it is it is a non periodic signal uh, let us figure it out so what is its period so i have to equate coefficient of t which is 4 to omega and what is omega 2 pi by t1 why i call it as t1 because i have two signals okay now if i solve it for t1 what do i get 2 pi by 4 which is equal to pi by 2 so t1 is pi by 2 similarly what is the fundamental period for this signal have to equate coefficient of t which is 2 pi right so 2 pi is equal to 2 pi by t2 why i call it as t2 because this is the other signal so if i solve it for t2 what do i get 2 pi by 2 pi so cancels out i get one second right this is pi by two second and this is one second 
Now, if I take ratio T1 by T2, what is T1? T1 is pi by 2 divided by what is T2? It is 1. So, what is this ratio? Pi by 2. Okay. Is this rational? No. Why? Because numerator is actually not an integer, which, which is 3.142 something, and but the denominator is integer. Uh, what is the condition? Both numerator and denominator should be integer in the sense it has to be rational. Therefore, therefore this is non-periodic. So, which option is correct? Option is, fourth option is correct.